Welcome what? back, everybody. It's me. It's I Hate Will. And today we're playing Life is Strange, Episode 5. This is Part 2 of our playthrough. Okay. Max? You're okay, Max. You're safe. Just, oh, no, just made everything okay, didn't he? Didn't she? I hope I did everything right this time. We're on an airplane. With Principal Wells? Yeah, okay. Groundhog Day his ass. We Groundhog Dayed his ass. That's easier to say. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. I feel pretty good about everything that happened. Okay. Let's look at newspaper. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Okay. Let's see. Two Moon Diner. Okay. Yep. They saw a double moon. That that happened earlier. Uh, let's see. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell, police officers descended. Tuesday, on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. That's, that's bad bubba's. Bad bubba's bubba. Okay. Uh, what's he, what's he watching? Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Well, it's Hot Dog Man. Uh, let's look. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Well, well, good for you. Anything else around before we look at the screen? Excuse me, sir. That's it. Oh, window. Let's look out the window. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Please. I don't know. Maybe you need glasses or something. All right. Use. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited to. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. Okay. We'll start your descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Well, I've always wanted to go to San Francisco, but I guess this is my chance. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. That must feel amazing. Uh-oh. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. But we fixed everything. Okay. Oh, look. We went to San Francisco. We actually did it. And we're back, I guess. Oh, we're here. Okay, cool. Okay. 
what are we what are we doing? She looks wonderful. That's a great look for her. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the well. Room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Okay. So we have free reign. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. So we have free reign to do whatever oh, we want. Max. You did it somehow. I went from the dark I, room. Can I say my sentence? Gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Okay. So what I was saying was we can do whatever we want. We're in San Francisco. Let's go check out the full house house. Huh? Let's go look at it. Throw eggs at it. Oh, newspaper. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. Mm, I don't want to read it. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Okay. Well, we're just going to be the people over here looking at the leaflets. Maybe speak to the receptionist. Hi, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Oh, thank you. Is it just because of the selfie I gave? That's kind of a weak sauce kind of thing to do. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see the big deal in the picture. I mean, it had some emotion and certainly made me feel something. Is that what a good photo is supposed to do? Make you feel something? Well, you're rude. All right. There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Oh look, there's a, a Jim Vonnegut. My favorite author is author is Kurt Vonnegut. Uh you you talking? You want rude? I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. I was the one that busted him, guys. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Yeah, you could look at me when you talk to me. That's why I'm not going to answer you, you rude. Okay, let's just kind of jog through this place, can we? Look at this uh, do we go up or down? We go... Oh, look. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Okay, not as good as last year's show. Ah, okay. Jerk. Hey. Hey, let's look at the camera here. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't feel like that's a nice thing to do. I don't, I don't feel like you should do that. Use somebody else's camera like that. Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta, metaphoric. Hey, what's going on? Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. 
we gonna talk anymore? Are you from Blackwell okay, Academy? bye. I wanted to go Max, there, you gotta I say to something to people. They have such a cool program. Can't just let them talk and then walk away. I mean, she was boring, sure, but... I like... Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Can we take a picture? Can we take a picture? No picture? That one is kind of silly. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go back upstairs. What are you guys up to, nerds? Fine. Nobody's gonna put up with my bullying. Like, I do not understand art. Well, keep trying. You're just a shallow person. Hey, Mr. Ginger Hair, well, what's up? I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I like this picture too. <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty How ladies much kissing. Would you pay for that? Hmm, I don't know. I'd rather just buy like a like a DVD or something. Here, um, woman. Excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Oh, thank you. Max, say thank you. Okay. Journalist. Speak. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Fantastic. Sounds like something fun we could do. I would love to just be interviewed for the rest of the game. Oh, look, there's me. Uh, let's, before we look at that, because I feel like that's going to set off some kind of cutscene. Some kind of s sequence that we can't get past. I wonder past. if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. I mean, everything's worth something, you know? Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Thanks, I'm a very cool little lady. God... I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't oh. say anything to Principal Wells yet. Wait, why not? Aren't I a senior? How do these galleries afford to rent here? Okay. There's Principal Wells. There's some food. Food. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. We could just go to McDonald's. I'm sure there's one nearby. Maybe a Taco Bell if you're up for it. If you have the gastrointestinal fortitude. I know it's kind of simple, man. but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Hey, speak to me. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Okay, thanks. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. He yeah. sure will. Ooh, champagne. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Okay, anything else? Principal Wells, what's up? So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Well, you know what? I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm not, it's not luck, it's skill. And, you know what, this feels like a dream. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. 
Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Yeah, you should have. You should have. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Huh. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Okay. Can we speak again? Excuse me, Max. Fine. I have to go call my wife. Fine. All right. Let's go look at our painting. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Anybody else I didn't talk to? I'm pretty sure I spoke to everybody. You? Makes me feel so sad. Like I was back. Usually these kind of contests, they they put me to sleep. But I like how this show is about specific actions. You know, not just abstractions. The Zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. No, that's true. Oh, sit. We're gonna sit and have our max thought. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. Okay, good max thought. Let's go look at our wonderful photo. It's actually not bad. I, 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 I didn't like it, but now it's all blown up. It looks fantastic. How you do that with a Polaroid and make it look good still? Anybody know? Let me know in the comment section. Look. And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Careful. Your, your nose is bleeding. That art community is going to think you're on the cocaine. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> that guy's lag. voice. Hi, Alton. Uh, your nose. <laughs> oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Well, that's it. You know, we're in San Francisco. We can't help her. Oh my her. god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. It wasn't that nice of a town. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Well, can we just look at somebody else's photo and go to their life? And just forget all this happened? I don't know, maybe I'm selfish. Maybe I'm just like, I like being a fancy photographer. I don't want to be no tornado fighter. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Dude, maybe Chloe's supposed to die. 
You know how many times he saved her? It's getting tiresome. All right, well, we're doing it, I guess. This, this seems like a... This is your dream, Max. This is what you were Excuse supposed me. to do. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... You know, you can go back in time whenever. You can just answer the question and then, then do this. Yeah, that's not a good feeling. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. I don't know, what maybe you're I having a slow aneurysm. Huh? Slow aneurysm, maybe? Can I not walk this way? I have to... The previous to... timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. Okay, look. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Okay, so we we tear it. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Mm. Okay, well I get it. I mean, the human life's important. It's just, come on, man. Oh, jeez. All these terrible things are still happening. Wow, okay. Well... I think that's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.